What's up guys and welcome back to Software Audio Solutions and today we're talking about Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Season 2. Now I made a Call of Duty Warzone Season 2 video yesterday so if you want to go check that out go ahead and check that out on my channel. If you're not subscribed go check it that out. There's a lot of things that you're going to need to change inside the windows, inside your config file, inside the video control panel and then also inside the game to have a smoother gameplay experience inside Season 2 for Modern Warfare 2. So let's jump straight into that. Alright, so the first thing I highly, highly recommend you go ahead and do, and it plays a very big role in the Call of Duty franchise, is this over here. You're going to open up your file explorer like this, and then go to your documents like this. Go to Call of Duty, go to Players, and then go to this file that says options3.cod22, and then open this up with any editing software like a notepad or whatever the case might be, and you're going to scroll all the way down till where you see this over here where it says renderer work account. Now this plays a very big role inside Warzone and inside Modern Warfare, specifically also for Modern Warfare now since this is a Modern Warfare video. It plays a very big role on your game itself. You can have an increase of FPS by 20 to 30 to 35 increase FPS depending on what type of CPU you are running and what you're going to put inside here. Okay, so now as you can see mine is 4. The reason why I have mine on 4 inside here is because I have a 9700K CPU, so it's an 8 core, 8 thread CPU. So you, what you're going to need to do here is half your cores right now for Season 2. It's halving your cores. Now, it gets very, very weird right now. A lot of people are t putting their total cores in there and they're getting more frames inside their game by putting their total cores inside there. Now this depends on your CPU. It depends if you have a Ryzen CPU. It depends on if you have an Intel CPU. If you have stuff like hyper threading and stuff like that, it really depends on what CPU you have. Okay, so I put mine at 4 and I'm doing the best FPS possible. With 8, I do a slight bit less, maybe like 5 less. And that's not a lot, it's not a significantly decrease, but like, you know, it's it's noticeable. I can actually see it. So I rather half my cores, so half of 8 is 4. So if you have a 12 core machine, you put it at 6. Now, this is something I also want to point out is lots of people are running or are still running 4 core or 6 core machines, okay? So if you are running a 4 core machine, halving it will obviously be 2. Now, you can go ahead and try that. If it works for you, then it works for you. If it doesn't, then put it at its total cores, which is 4. If you're running a 6-core machine, then you're obviously going to half it to 3 like this, okay? Now, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, put it at 6, which would be its total cores. Now, when it goes higher from 6 cores, like 8, you know, 10, 12, and just higher, I do recommend halving your cores. Like I said, mine's 8 cores, so I put four here and I do much better FPS. Now, for some reason, the config file with a render work account is really weird. Lots of people in my comments left me comments saying that, yo dude, I put five here and I have an eight core machine and I do better FPS. So it's a huge play around and I can't tell you really what to do inside here anymore with a config file with a render work account. But what I can tell you is either half it, either half your cores, your total cores, not your threads, not your performance cores, your total cores half them or put your full total cores inside there this is what you're going to need to do it plays a very big role inside this game trust me it does like i said i have mine at half and once you're done doing that you're just going to click on the file over here and click on save and then close out of this close out of this all right let's jump straight into the next step all right so the next step i highly recommend you go ahead and do is this over here you're just going to go to the search button over here if you're on windows 11 and just type in like settings or just go to your settings gear icon and then go to update and security this plays a very big role inside windows 10 and inside windows 11 as well every single no matter what machine you are using you need to keep it up to date you have to if call of duty is doing updates your machine needs to keep up to date with it as well so please go ahead and download the latest drivers and stuff like that for your windows and then obviously go ahead after you've downloaded it and watched this video go ahead and restart your machine i just wanted to put this here so you can actually see that there is updates for your machine please go ahead and do them you need these updates okay once you're done with that you're going to click on the home button and then you're going to go to gaming over here and go to game mode now right now at this very moment for season two game mode improves fps with any type of gpu that you're running right now it could it can be an nvidia graphics card it can be an amd graphics card it doesn't matter put game mode on you will see a better smoother gameplay experience with this on right now at this very moment you're going to click on here and then put hardware accelerated gpu scheduling off this needs to be off please go ahead and turn this off for call of duty modern warfare 2 season 2 it needs to be off 
There's no point in you putting this on. You are going to get stutters in your game, and it's just going to just worsen if you put this on. Especially also for people out there that's maybe streaming this game and playing it at the same time. It will even be way worse if you have this on. So go ahead and turn this off. Please go turn this off. Once you're done with that, you're going to click on the home button again, and you're going to go to privacy, scroll all the way down, and go to where you see background apps. And what you're going to need to do here is, if yours is on like this, you're just going to turn it off like this. If you are a Windows 10 user like me, all of these things over here are going to run in the background, and they're going to use resources like your RAM and your CPU. And there's no point in these things being on, because you can, if you need anything inside here, whatever is inside here, you can just go click on it. You don't need it to run in the background constantly. So turn it off. Unfortunately for Windows 11 users, you're going to have to individually disable these things, but it's worth doing it. Go ahead and do it. Trust me, it helps your machine perform much, much better. All right, let's jump into the next step. All right, so the next step it will be is actually updating your GPU drivers, okay? This plays a very, very big role on your game itself. So you're going to go to your drivers and then see if you have the latest updates for your GPU, your specific GPU, okay? Now, right now at this very moment, I'm running 528.49 on my NVIDIA graphics card. This is the driver I'm using. Now, you can go on to Call of Duty's webpage and it will recommend what type of driver you should be running for a smoother gameplay experience. But if you are like me and you're on the latest drive and your game runs perfectly fine, then I highly recommend that you run the latest driver, okay? I do recommend running the latest driver right now for NVIDIA users and also for AMD users. It's very important to keep this up to date. As soon as Call of Duty does updates or little patch notes and stuff like that, you need to make sure that everything is up to date on your machine as well, right? Let's jump into the next step. All right, so the next step I highly recommend you go ahead and do is this over here. You're going to right-click on your desktop and open up NVIDIA Control Panel if you are an NVIDIA user like me. These settings are going to play a very big role inside your game. You're going to go to Adjust Image Settings with Preview, and don't let this be on here. Let the 3D application decide, and don't let it be on Use My preference please don't use this go to use the advanced 3d image settings apply this if you haven't applied this yet and then go to take me there which is basically just going to take you to manage 3d settings and then you're going to copy all of these settings i have inside here exactly as they are okay so please go ahead and copy all of these settings it plays a very big role inside the settings i'm going to show you inside the game these settings play a very big role on the settings inside the game so you're going to need to copy these settings, okay? So I'm just going to go over one thing that's very important. It's the low latency mode. Now, for some people out there, they only have ultra. If you only have ultra, select ultra. I have on, so I use on. For me, it just works better with my 9700K, my RTX 2060 OC, and my 16 gigs of RAM that I did different timings on. It works perfectly fine for me, okay? But for you, it might not. So like, like I said, if you only have ultra, put it on ultra. Do not put this on off, ever. Don't put it off. It's just going to make your games worse, okay? So these are the best settings you can use right now. And if you're going to ask me stuff like, for instance, like max frame rate, why is that off? The reason why I have this off is because you're going to max your frame rate out in your games, not inside here. So like I said, just copy these settings, all of them. Just copy it. So all you need to do is copy these settings, okay? Then you're going to apply it. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to Configs Around and Physics and make sure you have your dedicated GPU selected. Not Auto Select, not CPU, your dedicated graphics card and apply these settings. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to Adjust Desktop Color Settings and these are the best settings I have right now for Warzone 2 Season 2 and Modern Warfare 2 Season 2. This will still be the sweet spot for this game right now. I have mine at 95 now on the Digital Vibrance. That actually makes the color pop in the game much more. And then I have this over here, this over here, and this over here. This is going to be your own personal preference, really. So you're going to click on image 3, and then move this all the way down, and you'll see your screen will become black and white. Then just move it all the way till you feel it's good for your eyes, okay? I have mine at 95. Like I said, it's my sweet spot right now. And then you're going to apply these settings. Let's jump straight into the game. Let me show you the best settings you can use right now for Modern Warfare 2 Season 2. We've lost the lead. We're getting hit hard. Got that one. Ready. Fuck. 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 Fuck.
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, as you could see, that was gameplay of the settings I'm using right now. For me personally, it's my best settings that I'm using for Modern Warfare 2. And as you can see, my FPS is actually lower right now. It will be because I'm using OBS to record this and I'm just in the main menu. My FPS is much higher while I'm playing and I highly recommend that you go ahead and change these settings right now for Season 2. So you're going to go to this little gear icon over here and then go to Graphics and then go to the Quality tab and then have this at Custom. A lot of people are preferring to go to Basic, Balanced or Ultra. Now as you can see at the bottom, these over here, they all change. Okay, so I'm just going to press Escape so it goes back to my settings. This is my personal recommendation for you guys right now to have in a competitive advantage advantage you want in a competitive advantage especially in modern warfare 2 since it's a multiplayer game all right so i highly recommend you go ahead and do this so 100 percent on the render resolution always so if you have a 720p 1080p 1440p 2k 4k whatever the fuck monitor you have always have this at 100 percent i don't care if you're playing this on a samsung fridge have this on a hundred percent please for the love of fuck leave this at 100 percent don't downscale it your machine isn't that fucking shit that you have to downscale this. You really don't. You can just start changing settings. I'm going to show you what you're going to do and what settings you should change to get really good FPS with older generation machines. And this is for every single users out there, no matter what machine you are running. So 100% on the render resolution. Fidelity FX Cache is what I'm using right now. And that is what I was using in that video that you just saw in the beginning of this clip is me playing this game at this specific settings. It's a, in a competitive advantage settings that I'm using right now for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Now, there are two right now that's very, very important to use. It's either going to be Fidelity FX Cache or it will be AMD FSR and you're going to put this at ultra quality. Now, this is something I want to explain to you guys who's running not the best of machines, but you are still playing this game and you want to play this game. If you're using AMD FSR, okay, and your machine is basically not running really well on ultra quality you can put this on quality or on balance do not put this on performance you're going to tear out your own fucking eyes please don't do that then i would recommend if you really struggling with fps i would then recommend either putting this completely off i have a friend with a 1050 ti that's not using any upscaling right now at this very moment he puts it completely off okay so i'll go over his settings this is a 1050 ti okay he does have a much stronger cpu it is an intel cpu i think it's a 10700 if i'm correct i'm not exactly sure but i know his cpu is much stronger so this is what he's using so no upscaling He's using his render resolution as is, like I just explained. He's got this on Formic SMAA T2 times. He's got anti-analyzing on normal. He's got his video memory scale all the way down to 50. He's got this at low. He's got this at normal. He's got this at low. He's got this at low. Short. He's got particle lighting at low. Very low. Bullet index display is on. Damage layers on. Shader quality low. Tessellation off terrain memory on max right now for season two this i'm not going to get into it's going to make this video very long streaming quality low volumetric quality low physics quality off always water caustics off always shadow map resolution very low okay screen space shadows off spot shadow quality low spot cache right now for modern warfare 2 not Warzone 2, Modern Warfare 2, you put it high for Modern Warfare 2. If you're playing Warzone, then I suggest you change it to Ultra if you switch over to go play Warzone 2. Switch over to Ultra, it will give you less stuttering in your game, alright? Particle lighting, low, ambient occlusion, always off, never turn this on, fucking never turn this on, alright? Screen space reflections, off, static reflection quality, low, weather grid volumes on low, Reflex low latency on plus boost. The reason why I say that for me and him, my friend that runs the 1050 Ti, is because he's running a lower generation graphics card and his CPU is much more stronger and his GPU is trying to keep up with his CPU basically. So having this on on plus boost is a really, really neat feature. Depth of field always off, world motion blur always off, and then weapon motion blur only gives you stuttering in Warzone 2, not Modern Warfare 2, so keep this off as well, it's a multiplayer fucking game, don't turn it on. Film grain all the way to 0 0.00. Now, my settings that I'm using right now in this game, it will be Fidelity FX Cache, 60%, or AMD FSR 
at ultra quality. Filmic SMAA T2 times, this at ultra quality, this on 90%. The reason why you change this up to 90% is if you're going to start changing these. Now, I change this to normal. I have this at high. I have this at high. I have this one at high. Then the rest are all exactly the same. Okay? All of these things are all exactly the same for Modern Warfare 2. These are the best settings you can use right now for Modern Warfare 2 with Season 2. Now, like I said before, ladies and gentlemen, if you aren't using AMD FSR or you're not even using Fidelity FX Cache and you go with, let's say, NVIDIA DLSS, I do recommend that you go ahead and put this on balance and then use your own sharpening on this. It depends on your monitor and your own personal preference on what type of sharpening you're going to use. My sweet spot is 80 if I do use NVIDIA DLSS. Now, a lot of people also use use NVIDIA image scaling and they put this on native that's going to just native this out so it will run at your native resolution so this will run at your native resolution so whatever resolution you're playing your game at it will run it natively if you are running NVIDIA image scaling you could put it at ultra quality or quality but I do recommend if you do use this use native or balance go with that it is much better you could try out ultra quality and see if that actually works much better for you and if you're still doing solid fps inside your game so amd fsr on ultra quality is the best right now for fps and gameplay and how your game looks feels runs and everything or you're going to use Fidelity FX Cache with whatever sharpening you want it on to be. Now, like I said, I have a 9700K, I have an RTX 2060 OC, and I have 16 gigs of RAM. And this is how I run. This is exactly the settings how I run my Modern Warfare 2. With the video I just showed you in the beginning, before the settings, that's how I'm playing my game. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to me to the channel if you're new here. And as always, I hope this helped you, and peace out.